Today we'll learn to analyze the motion graphs. As all we know that there are three motion graphs. The first one, the displacement against time, ST graph. The second, velocity against time, BT graph. And the third, acceleration against time, AT graph. And here are some important criteria that you need to know. For the VT graph, the area under the graph represents the displacement. And whereas, for VT graph, the gradient of the graph represents the acceleration. And the AT graph acceleration against time, the area under the graph represents the velocity. And for ST graph, the gradient of the graph represents the velocity. So you need to remember this and uh, as we will use it later for analyzing graphs. So first thing, you are given this VT graph, which you need to label V and T. And this is zero. So let's label uh, the period, this period of time as A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So there are six periods of time, and later we'll analyze it according to each section. So first, I draw this straight line like this. As it, as it was a VT graph, so the straight line like this represents increasing velocity at a constant rate, because you can see it's a straight line. So what will happen if I use this period and then I draw a graph for ST graph? As you can see, the velocity is increasing in a constant rate. So we know that when there is a velocity, the displacement will be increasing. And as this, uh, this VT graph is increasing velocity, so the gradient of the graph will be increasing as well. So it will be a curve like this. You can see the gradient for ST graph represents the velocity. So when the velocity is increasing, the gradient is increasing. And for the AT graph, when there is an increasing velocity, it shows that you have constant acceleration as the gradient of the velocity against time graph is constant so constant acceleration so back to VT graph we are given this straight line, horizontal line it shows that it has constant velocity so for constant velocity the gradient will be for ST graph will be constant, so it will be a straight line like this. And next, for AT graph, since it was constant velocity, so there will be zero acceleration. Next, for section C, you are given this straight line to zero. So, for ST graph, since it was moving to zero, so the gradient of the curve is decreasing. So it will be a curve like this, decreasing gradient. And for AT graph, as you can see, it's decreasing velocity. So it will be a deceleration, or you can say as negative acceleration. So, section D, a horizontal line at zero. So, this shows that it has zero velocity. So, there, will, there won't be any change in displacement. So, the displacement graph will be a horizontal line. And whereas for AT graph, since it has zero velocity and it's constant, so the acceleration will be zero again. Next, 
from section E. From section A to D, we are using only the positive value of V. Now we are moving to negative value of V. So a negative value with a negative gradient. So it shows that the moving object is moving in the opposite direction since velocity is a vector. So when it's moving in opposite direction, the displacement will be decreasing. And as it is moving away from the zero line, so the gradient, the negative gradient will be increasing. Increasing gradient. And then for AT graph, since uh, it is a increasing, uh, the, sorry, negative gradient, so it shows that it is negative acceleration. However, this doesn't show doesn't mean that the object is moving in deceleration motion, but it is moving in acceleration but in opposite direction. Next, for section F, a constant velocity below the negative line, which is a negative constant velocity. So, same for the ST graph, when there is a constant velocity, it will be a straight line. However, this is, this is a negative velocity, so the, neg the gradient for the ST graph will be a negative. For AT graph, there is constant velocity in negative value, but there will be zero acceleration. And the last section, section G, a straight line towards zero. So it shows that even though it's moving in opposite direction, it is slowly getting slower and slower. The speed is getting slower and slower. So it is as it is a um, positive gradient. So it will be become flatter because it's moving towards the zero. It's getting slower and slower. Whereas for acceleration, it is moving towards zero line, so it will be a, ne a negative deceleration, or you can say as acceleration. So that's all for analyzing motion graphs. So make sure you remember these criteria. The area for VT graph represents displacement. Area for AT graph represents the velocity. The gradient for ST graph represents the velocity. And the gradient for VT graph represents the acceleration. So I hope you can understand well for this topic. We'll see you next time for the other chapters. Thank you.